On behalf of Rugby Canada, we would like to welcome you to today's game between the USA and Canada, the U20 World Rugby Trophy. Put a spot to go to Portugal on the line in this two game aggregate series. Our game today is presented by Seanigan Lake Schools. On Vancouver Island back. in British Columbia, we would like to thank Seanigan Lake for their continued support of Rugby Canada and a uh, spilled ball and an opportunity for the Americans as racing away is Jacobus Gerishings looking for the strip at the last second, but he will be in first try of the game. Scored by the Americans, number seven, Jacobus Hemmerheis. Penalty earned by the Canadians. Coming in from the side. And Canada will choose to kick for posts. Looking for their first points of the game. Detroit's kick is up. It definitely has the distance and it has the accuracy. Strong looking penalty kick there from Giuseppe Detroit. Down. The Americans burned a penalty, thinking about no taking quick. it quickly. We're all down on our, few, our knees. And they will probably decide to go to posts, and they do. So kicking the ball, Benjamin Sima, he looked very good on the conversion from about the same spot. Sima's kick is up, and again, right down the middle. Not a doubt in anyone's mind, as soon as that ball left the boot, that was heading straight between the uprights. Acquired of them right now. And that is good work as the centers link up. And Sauter has it, trying to high step his way through. One more man to beat. Could Sauter get into the corner? He does. What a run all the way from about 25, 30 meters as Sauter shedded. Check that. That was Co. My mistake. The uh, fullback wearing number 15, shedding tacklers, doing the high stepping, and getting in for the try. An exciting play. And the Canadians have their first try of the game. There you see. Andrew Coe with the ball. There's about three Americans that got a hand on him, but no one's strong enough to take him down. Set. And the Americans Angle. getting the penalty here, probably at about 48 meters. But with time Shot. nearing its uh, expiry in the first half, they do choose that option. Seema slowly lines this one up. Got the distance, just barely over the bar. Great looking kick there from Benjamin Sima, ends the half. At our score between Canada and the USA, the Americans 10, the Canadians eight. We've seen that trend, he's kind of that uh, away to, away to. kind of cut of no hands. big powerful plays in the backfield. The Canadians with this penalty, again, kickable, and that's what they'll do. That one, nicely done by Dutois as he makes amends for his previous miss. Inching forward a couple of meters. Looks like an advantage being played to the Americans. The ball is kicked right into the back of the Canadian players' heads and it is a total scramble right now. The Americans trying to find it, scooped up, passed back, dancing around a tackler is Ian Kinsley and he's into the corner. <laughs> Try scored by the Americans on a chaotic play is that ball started with a kick to the back of the Canadian forwards, bouncing off one of the back of their heads or upper bodies, and it was just a complete crapshoot after that, as both teams looked for the ball, and it was Kinsley who was able to get to it first, sidestepping a man and getting into the corner. Forward, still four meters left to cover for Canada. Release two! Finley now driving it to within one and a half, two meters of the line, right at the line now, and a try scored by Canada. Down on the line first, then back. Down on the line first, then back. Fend off, right into the hands of Leitner. This time he's got his hands on the ball, and Theo Sauter looking for the corner. He stays in bounds, and he'll find the goal area. Try for Canada's Theo Sauter. Assemble their defensive forces, and uh, far too aggressive coming over the top. And Canada's decided that they're going to kick. So trailing by two nice points, we're inside the last 10 minutes. 
and they are going to be looking to go ahead for the first time in this game. Beautiful looking kick goes through, and that is the final whistle. It's Giuseppe Dutois. Closes out this game for Canada with a game winning penalty kick as the rain pours down and his teammates pour down on top of him as well in celebration. Canada has earned the victory. Coming back on the final play of the game to get their first lead in the full 80 minutes. 24 to 23 is our final score here from Shawnigan Lake.